Welcome to Trojans Live, the exclusive USC Trojans Coaches Show. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, USC. Behind the scenes insights and breaking news from interim head coach Ed Ogeron, Andy Enfield, and the student athletes who play for the Cardinal and Gold. Throws over the middle, complete Marquise Lee. He's got it at the five in the end zone. Touchdown, USC. Trojans Live is brought to you by BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Visit SoCalBMW.com today to find a BMW center near you. Buy Valvoline. Charge on. But visit Valvoline Instant Oil Change first. Home of the drive through only change. And proud sponsor of USC football. Visit SoCalOilChange.com for special discounts and offers. By Allstate Insurance. Mayhem is everywhere. Start protecting yourself from mayhem with Allstate Insurance. By Western Exterminator. Providing all-star terms might in pest control you can trust for over 90 years. Western Exterminator, the final word in pest control. Now, here are Jordan Moore and John Jackson. Hello and welcome to another Trojans Live presented by your Southern California BMW centers on KFWB News Talk 980. We are live at the lab for a special Tuesday night show ahead of the weekender in Berkeley against the Cow Bears. Uh, tonight we are thrilled to be joined by Ed Orgeron, the man who engineered a big road win in Corvallis last Friday night. Plus we're going to talk to offensive lineman Max Turk and linebacker Anthony Sorrow. Later we'll catch up with former USC running back Chauncey Washington. And finally we're going to jump on the phone with men's basketball head coach Andy Enfield if, ahead of his uh, team season opener, which is this Friday night at Utah State. I am Jordan Moore alongside John Jackson and JJ. It felt like a big win was coming for this program and Coach O and the Trojans delivered in, Corv- in Corvallis. Well, I like the game for a lot of reasons. First of all, the Trojans won, but I think that it, it, a significant thing happened in that game. When the Trojans got ahead 14 nothing, it looked like they were going to sort of start to run away with it. And then, of course, Oregon State scored a touchdown, a pick six. And it really was a defining point when the team could have went south quickly. I mean, they were on the road. It's Oregon State. We talked about the atmosphere and all that. And they didn't. They responded. You know, the offensive line sort of put it on their shoulders. It would be a good to you know, talk, you know, talk about that a little bit later. But the offensive line sort of put it on their shoulders to me and said, hey, let's roll our sleeves up. And they, they started to drive the ball back down, gain control of the game back. And then went on to a, you know, what seemingly was an easy win. Yeah, Coach O called that the turning point after the game. We'll talk to him about it now. This segment is brought to you by your Southern California BMW centers. Visit SoCalBMW.com today to find a BMW center near you. Coach, let's bring in here uh, just the momentum of this program. Let's start with that. It just feels like every day you're picking up speed. Well, you got to give the credit to our coaching staff and our players. Uh, they're working very hard. I think we had one of our better practices today. Competition Tuesday. We have two of our outstanding young players with us. Anthony Sauro and Max Turk was doing a great job. Guys are stepping up, believing in each other, and, and playing for each other and pulling together. Coach, we talked about this a little bit after the game, of the importance to get better during the season and play well down the stretch in November. That was one of the things that you did well when – Pete Carroll was here the first time first time around for you, and now it seems like this team is doing the same thing. You know, we're focusing on ourselves. Uh, today we had the drill of the day. You know, we got guys are getting better each technique uh, every day. Our coaches are doing a great job, and our players are buying into it. That's the way we do it. You addressed the road atmosphere going into you, you. You made a point to do that. How do you feel like they handled Reeser Stadium? I would say pretty well. A plus. You know, I thought that our guys were, um, were accustomed to the noise. Uh, they weren't intimidated by the stadium. Uh, they went in there, we played our game, and uh, just really had fun doing it. You know, revisit some of the momentum shifts in the game, because I noticed from watching the game, there were several points before the offense took the field. You were in the middle of the huddle sort of talking to those guys. One last word before they took the field, and it seemed for them to rally. I know that you're, you know, you're humble about that kind of stuff, but you know, give us a little insight of what went on and what was the message to those just guys. just wanted to look around, man. It's, it's what we were there for. Uh, in a hostile environment, the crowd was getting quiet. We had a chance to have a... A killer instinct like shark smelling blood in the water. Let's go take it to them. Let's have some fun and let's enjoy it. Yeah, defensively, uh, we sat right here a a week ago and and we said, well, maybe you got that secondary fixed. You said, we'll see. Another A plus, (laughs) I imagine. They really handle the nation's number one passing offense. Tremendous job by Coach Pendergast. A tremendous job by our coaching staff. You know, moving Josh Shaw to corner has been very, very helpful to us. Demetrius Wright is playing fantastic. Guys getting picks. Deion Bailey, just guys are playing excellent football. You know, there was a couple turning points defensively as well because you went into the game, 
it looked like sort of focused on the pass. Obviously, that's what they did well. But then they started to run the ball a little bit, well, you know, uh, successfully against the defense a little bit. And then there was an adjustment made by Coach Pendergast and, you know, the, and the coaching staff. Mm-hmm. You know, talk about that and how they're making the in-game adjustments because those are just as important as what you guys do during the week. You know, we're really confident that we have a very smart defense and we have a very smart coaching staff. And sometimes guys make adjustments during the game that we haven't seen these plays. But we get on the sideline, we make adjustments. Guys like Anthony and them, they're very smart. They can do it. They go out in the field with confidence. We stop it and we shut it down. There's a tremendous amount of confidence and communication on our defense. You were really focused on the pass rush going into this one. You ended up not, not getting a ton of sacks. I think uh, Devon Kennard got, got uh, both of them. But you got enough pressure, and Deion Bailey talked about it after the game, that really the interceptions were forced by the pressure. Is that what you saw? Did you feel like the pressure still affected them? You know, give some credit to Pete Jenkins. He, he came in there and says, you know, Coach, this is a quarterback that likes to stay on the spot. Seven yards deep behind the center, let's move him off the spot. When we move him off the spot, he doesn't throw the ball well. Every time we moved him off the spot, it seemed like it was an interception or it was an incomplete. So great game plan. What about the sacks? It's about affecting the quarterback, all 11 playing, doing the right thing. You know, I know that you love Coach Jacob for all that he brings to these guys. How are the players sort of reacting to it now that he's been around for a month or so? They absolutely love him. Man, he is one of the greatest defensive line coaches. He has a drill for every situation. It's, it gets better. He had a he had a cut up made today. He's seventy two years old. He made a cut up of two hundred seventy five plays <laughs> to watch out guys. He's in there every day and he just works hard and they just absolutely love him. You know, one thing um, that I heard is it, you know that he has cut up tapes of different types of rushes to show these guys. But not only does he have them, he can tell you, hey, turn to number fifty five and, yeah. and, and, and and go play by play. How is that? How does that work with those guys in terms of his? You know, working on those individual techniques. It's great. You can see the Bonds Canards. The guy was high in vertical pads. He taught him high in vertical pads. Spin. He spun and he got a sack. The guys are believing in it. They're coming out of the hips. They're using their hand well. You know, since he's come here, we've been playing good, pretty good defense. <laughs> For sure. And the big thing, too, has been the turnover margin. And that's happening on both sides. Uh, since you've taken over as head coach, you're plus six in the turnover margin. Have, yeah, two thumbs up you're giving right now. But that that's always seems to be the biggest stat. You know, credit of. Clay Hilton, those guys are protecting the ball. I don't know how many carries we have without a fumble. And, you know, the interceptions that we get is just when, when you're in plus uh, six territory, you're going to win some games. It's the key. Okay, now i got a Clay Hilton story. Hopefully you'll be able to fill me in on this. Oregon State gets the ball. First play of the game, they throw a deep corner out, you know, to Cooks, right? Huge game to start the game. Then the Trojans get the ball. First play of the game to Marquise, you know, for a 70-yard touchdown or something crazy. How, was that? By design coming in, or was it just a reaction to Oregon State? Give me some insight. That was by design. A tremendous game planning by him. You know, you can hear him on the headset. He wanted a certain coverage. He knew he'd get a certain coverage. He'd go play action pass. The safeties would bite deep and throw behind, and it worked beautifully. Good to have number nine back. It's great to have number nine back. <laughs> Everybody's happy when number nine is in. But I will say this to you. It really helped us of him not being out there. Other players stepped up, and other players became better football players because of it. Yeah, and that's sort of one of the byproducts of him not playing. Now, you know, Cody and, and the other receivers are more comfortable. How is that sort of chemistry working between that receiving core as a whole? It's great. You know, the guy stepped up. Look at the play of Nelson Aguilar, you know, Darius Rogers, and all the young receivers that got chances to make plays and the tight ends catching the ball on the offensive line. The offensive line knows without uh, Marquise in there, they have to block better. We have to run the ball better. So everybody's been better. And J.J. talked about the turning point in the game. You talked about it after the game. And Cody Kessler th- throws that pick six. But you know, he had thrown a couple earlier in the year, and then the offense either went into a funk or he lost his confidence or he got conservative. None of that happened against Oregon State. Do, do you see a major difference now in, in Cody's mindset and, and obviously the way the team is rallying around him? The whole team. Well, you know, we talked about we're going to face him in person. It's okay. We worked hard. We prepared. And we believe in each other, and it doesn't matter who's out there. It doesn't matter who's doing well. We win as a team, perform well as a team. They're sticking together like a band of brothers, and that's what's really important, one family. You know, one other position that it was another amazing performance, Silas Red, but Buck Allen. Mm. I mean, come on. He was a uh, – I mean, it, I didn't even know he was that fast. Did you know he was that fast, by the way? <laughs> no, I didn't. But I tell you what, give credit to Buck sticking with it, uh, Tommy Robinson. Tommy Robinson is one of the best running back coaches I've been around. He coaches with a tremendous enthusiasm. He's tough. He's hard-nosed. He believes in his players. And give it to Buck, man. He stuck with it. Tremendous young guy. 
A reminder to fans that you can jump on the show by tweeting in a question for Coach O using the hashtag Trojans Live. Hashtag Trojans Live. Tweet us now. We'll ask Coach in the next segment. we got an offensive lineman sitting right here. We talk about running backs all the time. But this was a group. You, Max Turk has to move out over to right tackle. You basically you have the five you have. You make it work. And, and they really control the line of scrimmage. By far the best game. And we're proud of Max. Max is one of our recruits from South Orange County. A great family. A great young man. Great character. I thought Andre Walker played his best game. 244 yards rushing, men. What a tremendous job by Coach Summers, offensive line, and Coach Craig. Andre Walker plays his best game and looked like he might not even play. He came up, you know, out of warm-ups, and then he comes back and plays a great game. Everyone did a gut-check effort by uh, the Trojans. We'll talk more about it and the challenge of Cal coming up when we come back. It's another segment with Coach O on Trojans Live. And Kessler drops the pass long and throws to Marquis Lee, who's wide open. Makes the catch at the 20. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, USC. Tasting notes for the Carl's Jr. Buffalo Blue Cheese Burger. Hey, thank you, Buffalo, New York, for buffalo sauce and blue cheese. Tangy, spicy, vinegary Frank's Red Hot Sauce mixed with creamy, salty, funky blue cheese. Hey, it's tasty enough on a chicken wing, but it's a damn revelation when it's on a burger. The Buffalo Blue Cheese Burger with Frank's Red Hot Sauce and Blue Cheese Crumbles. Only at Carl's Jr. Eat like you mean it. For limited time, participating restaurants. Frank's Red Hot is a registered trademark of Record Bank LLC. We don't know what 2014 will bring, but we do know that right now you can get a credit of up to $2,000 on a new BMW. Then who knows what else could happen? This might be the year you write the next great American novel, paint a masterpiece, or date a supermodel. Anything's possible. The Happier New Year event is going on now. Right now, get a credit of up to $2,000 on a new BMW. Like the BMW X1, we only make one thing, the ultimate driving machine. Credit is applied against MSRP, a final purchase, not title, tax, or destination. Credit allowance varies by model from January 2nd, 2014. For all offer details, visit BMWUSA.com slash offers. Mayhem is everywhere. I'm the football your buddy fired through your windshield. The cooler that tumbled out of a pickup and onto the hood of your car. If you're a football fan, eventually we're going to meet. So get all state. Where agents help keep you protected from mayhem. <laughs> like me. Are you in good hands? Start protecting yourself from mayhem. In Lakewood, call Allstate agent Lisa Saul today. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability. <coughs> Sounds like that's getting worse. From mild ailments to something more serious, HealthNet is here for you. We provide affordable health coverage that you and your family deserve. With plan benefits that include doctor visits, prescriptions, immunizations, and even free physical exams, HealthNet gives you peace of mind. Look to HealthNet for affordable health coverage for you and your family. We are your HealthNet. HealthNet of California, Inc. and HealthNet Life Insurance Company are subsidiaries of HealthNet, Inc. Now back to Trojans Live from the lab. Here are Jordan Moore and John Jackson. Back at the lab on... KFWB News Talk 980. It's Jordan Moore and John Jackson here with the coach. Uh, tonight's highlights are courtesy of 710 ESPN. We always talk about offense and defense, coach. Special teams, also another complete effort. And I don't want to make too light of it because it looked like the kid got hurt on the play, but the first play of the game, someone Vanuku went up down there and absolutely knocked somebody's block off. I mean, that is, I imagine, yeah. the tone you would like to set in every game. No question. That, it set the tempo, and, and, you know, there was a lot of instances on this kickoff team where we did set the tempo. There were some other plays he made. It was just a tremendous job by a kickoff team and Coach Baxter, who does a great job. And, again, another tone setter. They going down there to kick a field goal, and we block at the beginning of the game. Yeah. Those things change the momentum. Yeah, and that's why I wanted to talk about the special teams because the one thing that suffers with all the injuries and the lack of, personnel is the special teams could actually suffer because you don't have a lot of depth there some of the starters have to step up you know guys like soma that play offense and then have to play on special teams as well you know what about the commitment i mean you know the commitment to coach baxter talk about it from the player standpoint so it's, it's amazing our guys will do anything you ask them to do anything they're ready to go uh they're ready to fight they're ready to do anything for their teammates and you know it's, it's one thing to talk about it's another thing to do it at the drop of a hat our guys will do it uh, really proud of our young men Let's get a tweet in here right now. Your your son Cody on Twitter right now. I, you give him any Twitter tips, Coach? No, he gives me Twitter tips. <laughs> that's right. That's the, way, that's the way it goes these days. But we got one from Jim uh, Feigert who uh, 
let's get into injuries a little bit. It seemed like you, you came through things pretty healthy at Oregon State. He wants to know if, if Morgan Breslin's going to come back soon, a big Morgan Breslin fan to, to help out that pass rush. No, I think Morgan's going to be out for a while. and I don't know how long he's going to be out, but we'll probably discuss that uh, in the media tomorrow. Yeah, and with, with, the, with the guys that – well, let me see. If you, so Morgan's out. I'm trying to think who's – so Jabari's behind him, right? And yep. Jabari – and also you have JR who's been playing well. You know, that, that outside linebacker spot, you know, how does – how does the makeup change with Morgan out of there and the other guys filling in? Well, you know, obviously, you know, a guy like Scotty Starr is coming up. You know, he, he played a little bit, and we're going to play him more this year, another opportunity, and I think he's going to be a tremendous player. It's just another opportunity. Got the uh, weekender this weekend. Obviously, always a fun one. You get the USC fans. They can really take over that stadium sometimes. Uh, what do you know about this Cal team? Sonny Dykes, the new head coach, they like to chuck it around a little bit. Tremendous job against Arizona last week, putting up 28 points. They'll move the ball almost 500 yards of offense, 350 yards passing. Another uh, challenge for us on defense. We're going to have to play a complete game. You know, it's not about them. If we go up there and play a great game, uh, compete like heck, like we know how to play, we should be fine. You know, from a coaching standpoint, I know that you're focused on the Trojans, but when you look at this team, they're not very good on defense. They give up a lot of points as well. Is it one of those things when you go into it, you want to get into a shootout because you know – that their defense is not the best defense around in the country, or is it the situation where you have to, you know, sort of make sure because you, the offense is can be very potent when they start going there. You know, one of the things we like to do against the spread offense is, is the time of possession, and uh, we did a tremendous job against Oregon State. They did a great job on time of possession. We plan on doing it again. The better you run the football against the spread team, the more we stay on the sideline and the less points they can score. They're averaging 90 plays a game <laughs> on right. offense. Wow. Yeah. How tricky is it for you being in this conference tonight? We sort of talk about this week in, week out. Boy, there's all these different kind of offenses, and yeah. then sure enough, Sonny Dykes gets tired, and you got another one of these guys coming in here who's doing different things each week. It's, yeah. it's a new challenge, it seems like, every week. It's a new challenge, but, you know, a lot of the things are similar. You just have to be ready, re- really fundamentally sound, have a great sound um, philosophy on your defense, and we do that. We're not going to change a lot on defense every week. We'll make adjustments and do the, do the things that we do best. You know, Coach, it's often said just in sports in general that going on the road brings the team closer together. Is that sort of the same thing that's happening here? No, we you know, we, we seem pretty close Friday night. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, again, we got a new challenge. Uh, our guys like to play on the road. They love to play in the Coliseum. One game at a time, one heartbeat, one team. We're going to stick with that philosophy. Well, as J.J. said, you, you gave the team cookies, and then the offensive lineman returned with the, by giving you pancakes. So yeah. what, what <laughs> happens when you give them double-doubles? Because uh, you, you made quite a delivery on Monday. Yeah. Of these guys enjoyed some in and out, and another tr- a good treat for them. Yeah, I just thought it was time, you know, to celebrate a big win. And then we have a thing we call occasional <laughs> meals. They like In-N-Out burgers, so they got a couple of In-N-Out burgers, and we surprised them. I just wanted to thank them for the hard work and the type of men they were. I think they really enjoyed it. Yeah, these guys are having a lot of fun. It's funny when we talk to the players, they're they're all enthused about all the different surprises. You know, and, and you're getting a lot of, you know, good feedback from some of the alumni. You know, you've had a lot of the guys come back, Munoz and Marcus Allen, stuff like that. You know, how how does it you know, these how are these guys sort of receiving that type of stuff? Because it's you know, it's something big when you know, whether it's Ray Lewis or Marcus Allen, some of those guys showing up. It's part of being at USC and we recruit them, so we're gonna give you the very best we can on the NCAA rules. And you know, we have a, a strong base of alumni guys that are very famous and like to come around and talk to our guys. Motivational. We like bringing them to the movies, go to Sony theaters, go to the Paramount Studios, do the best things we can in L.A. This is about, part of my being at USC. All right, Coach, we got two we got two first-timers coming up here on the radio show, Anthony Sarrell, Max Turkey. Give me any advice? Very proud of these both, both great young men. Uh, Anthony is just playing lights-out football. So is Max. Just proud of both of these young men. Great families, great character, great students. Uh, just going tremendous trolls. Well, we really appreciate you, and we appreciate you coming on tonight. Uh, tonight's tweet is brought to you by Allstate Insurance. Football players rely on lots of coaches, quarterbacks, running backs, and special teams, just to name a few. But for insurance, you only need one coach, an Allstate agent. They'll help you with your insurance game plan. Call L.A. area Allstate agent Adrian Fredericks or Four Corners Insurance Services today. Thank you again to Coach O coming up. A couple of his troops, Anthony Sorrow and Max Turk on Trojans Live. Back to pass, Mannion looks right, throws left. It is intercepted by Deion Bailey. Bailey had it, and he takes it out of bounds with him at the two-and-a-half-yard line. If you're looking at a car, a truck, or an SUV, Ford has an EcoBoost engine for you. Listen to Mike Savage talk about his Fusion. The Fusion's EcoBoost engines really 
really quick. It's it's a lot of power, and I just love that sports car feel. But I still get the fuel economy of a four-cylinder engine. Jen Bellotti picked an Escape over a BMW. When I'm merging onto the freeway, I step on the gas. It's super powerful. You can just feel it. Joe D'Angelo loves his F-150 with EcoBoost. It's got as much power as the V8, whether it's from a stop, merging, passing. The EcoBoost engine from Ford gives you the power of a larger engine with the fuel economy of a smaller engine. EcoBoost, it's miles ahead of the competition. Win a VIP experience for the big game on November 30th. It's the Ford Friday sweepstakes. Just go to usctrojans.com for official rules and enter to win two tickets and an on-field experience. No purchase necessary. Fusion EP estimated rating of 22 city 33 highway 26 combined mpg 2.0 liter eco boost actual mileage will vary so you need hot dogs for the tailgate salads for game day and thirst quenchers for the cheering squad on the couch good thing smart and final has everything to make your team happy and score big savings smart and final has low prices like walmart big sizes like costco with no membership fees plus the freshness of a supermarket in one place smart and final warehouse prices big and small sizes now through november 5th stock up and save on crystal geyser spring water big 35 half liter bottle case get two cases for only eight dollars plus crv at smart and final Become a KFWB VIP to receive special offers, VIP experiences, and more. Visit KFWB.com now for your chance to win a Seinfeld prize pack. That includes Season 5 and 6, among other collectibles. Own the complete series of Seinfeld on 33 DVDs, featuring all episodes of the iconic comedy and more than 104 hours of amazing extras. Seinfeld, the complete series, now available at Amazon and SeinfeldSeriesStore.com from Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. Hand off to Allen. He's up the middle for the first down. The 40, and he's gone. 30, 25, 20. They finally catch up with him at the 10, but missed the tackle. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Buck Allen. Boy, Buck Allen, Buck Allen had a night in Corvallis. Three touchdowns, and we got one of the guys that was paving the way for him here, Max Turk, who's uh, played both guard and tackle this season. And on the defensive side, we've got uh, the fair-haired Anthony Saro, who's got his... Uh, ponytail game working right now uh max let's uh let's start with you man uh obviously a, a great night in oregon state you have had to make a, a switch here over to uh to tackle with kevin graff down what goes into that transition for you um it takes a lot of work to uh switch from the left side to the right side i gotta get my pass set down run blocking is a little the same a little similar but you just gotta kind of get off the ball but passing is what i really had to work on and uh put in a lot of work all week and uh, ended up working out well. So, and Anthony, for you, it's had to be patient, right? I mean, you know, you're you're back, you know, backing guys up to start the year, but then Lamar Dawson goes down, and all of a sudden, it's like, hey, we need you to step up and be the man right away. How has the transition been stepping into that starting linebacker role? Um, I mean, the transition, it's been good. I mean, you know, we winning and the defense <laughs> been playing well, so I can't can't really say anything bad. Especially with Coach O as a coach, I mean, I couldn't have asked for any better coach than him. I mean, I just it goes in preparing. I mean, every week. You got prepared like you're a starter anyway. And, you know, that's how I was preparing. So when I got the job, I just took the opportunity. I asked the same question of your linebackers coach, uh, Mike Eckler, and he said, I couldn't be happier for Anthony. But he said he, he personified the, a person that would just remain ready. Talk about what your mindset was all season as you were behind Lamar. You were playing some, but always preparing as if something was going to happen. I think it just uh, come down to staying hungry. I mean, at all times, I'm I'm out here to work, and I know I'm I'm across the country, so I got to put this work in. So <laughs> it's always in the back of my head that you know I got to prepare, and it's only one play away. So it ended up happening, and you know it's a blessing in disguise, but you know it just happened. And Matt, you know your and I relationship goes back to high school days when yeah. you when you were a star in high school, and you know all the Trojan fans are impressed from you moving from guard to tackle. I'm not impressed because you were already <laughs> a tackle before. Yeah. I already knew that. But 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 with but with that being said, you came to SC. You obviously come in as a tackle spot. Of course, you played last year as a freshman. Then the move to guard, and then now the move back to tackle. Does it does it matter? I mean, how much of a difference does guard play versus tackle play make? I mean, for me, it's not that big of a difference because last year I ended up playing uh, tackle, and I went through all training camp this year playing guard. So the transition for me isn't, isn't too big. Uh, I enjoy playing both positions and doing what's best for the team. So. Does it matter? Like, I mean, is there a preference? Just it's complete, two completely different positions, you know. At guard, you're not in much space, and at tackle, you're on your you're on a little island. So, it's two completely different positions. Um, 
You run a little more tackle, which I like, but guard, you get to hit a little more. So it's a trade off. Would it help to know which one you were at, though? Because you have sort of, you were going to be a guard, and I, I don't know, your off season regiment, were you trying to bulk up to play guard? I mean, you, you certainly look like you've gotten bigger, or, you know, in terms of just your physical body, would it help to, to know which one? They seem to have a little different body types. Uh, I had to bulk up anyway, so <laughs> I, was, I was about 270 last year, so I I tried to get to 300, and, um, but it's basically about the same. Um, not whatever the team needs, like I said, you know. And Anthony, for you, um, we ask a lot of defensive players this: is Coach Pendergast defense? Because it looks like so much is going on. Like when, as a fan watching it, you know the different alignments, the different checks, the different calls. How difficult is it to be the linebacker spot? Because that's the, the spot that makes all the calls. Um, I think first and foremost, Coach Pendergast. I mean, he he puts it in the best position. I mean, Coach Pendergast. I mean, he. He one of them coaches is just ride or die. Like you gonna ride for him. He, he he puts all his trust in us. Like he holds everybody accountable, first string, fourth string. So okay. you really see how caring he is. But his scheme wise, I mean, he definitely knows football. I mean, like he tells us things like about inverted being inverted in the slot, just route combinations that it just happens, his pattern. So he teaches us football a lot. Mm-hmm. But scheme wise, I mean, it's it's kinda simple, like as far as position wise, I mean, it may look like a lot, but he keep it simple so we go out there and play fast. As you can probably tell by the accent, Anthony is a uh, South Jersey product. Uh, how's it been transitioning? It's a long way away from uh, home. Uh, how's it been transitioning out to this L.A. lifestyle? I mean, it's been well, it's been, it's been good. I mean, I've been out here for two, two and a half, three years now, yep. so I've been adjusted. But, you know, it's L.A., so you can't really go, go wrong with it. Max, the continuity with the offensive line, as Coach Ogeron said, you guys played, you know, your best game, and you know, individually and as collectively as a group. How's the camaraderie amongst you guys as offensive line? Are you guys like you know tight friends, buddies, that kind of thing? Oh yeah, we're yeah. we're really good friends. Hang out all the time, uh, plan dinners, we can go out all the time. So it's a good group of guys, and really like playing with them. Max, uh, JJ mentioned that he's he's been watching you since high school. We always talk with the, the NFL guys. Always talk about how it's really about the Saturdays when you're in the NFL because the college rivalries within a team. What about high school rivalries within this team? You're a Santa Margarita guy. They knock off Modern Day oh, a couple yeah. weeks ago. There's got to be some people <laughs> around here that you can let, let them hear about. All these guys all coming from the Trinity League. You guys get into it on Friday nights? I had to talk a little trash after we <laughs> beat Modern Day. But... You let Max hear it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, oh, man. Yeah, yeah no, those are, those are obviously good rivalries. It's, uh, you know, it's interesting, you know, Anthony, when you go, you know, even go back to New Jersey, the, the, the pride of let's talk about high school football in New Jersey. I mean, the pride of football in New Jersey—that's sort of it, right? I mean, there's no, you know, there's no, there's not a baseball and all that other kind of stuff. Going. Football is the sport, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> basically, in, in Jersey, you just got football and then basketball. That's it. I okay. mean, I never grew up really playing. I didn't play baseball. It was, you play football. You play basketball. <laughs> that's it. Either or. <laughs> Obviously, uh, a great linebacker, not not too far uh, removed, is Brian Cushing from the state of New Jersey. Does that, that have any factor in you? Obviously, he's a North Jersey guy, but you grow up watching him on TV and, and, and CSC, or what, what What made you think about SC other than just, you know, it being I, SC? I mean, besides, yeah, besides being <laughs> SC, I mean, Cushing, I, you know, he's from Jersey, so I definitely got to rep Jersey, right? I can't come in here and, you know, slack off because it's bad for Jersey. I mean, he, he already put on, so I just got to do the same thing. And, you know, he definitely... You know he left. A, he left a good path, so it's just I'm trying to follow. Okay, Max, do you, you get the? Oh, I got one more. We're Go done? ahead, JJ. Okay, I just had to ask about the In and Out Burgers. Just give me a just yeah. give me a quick scouting report on the In and Out Burgers. Oh man, that was that was probably the best surprise I had all year. <laughs> man. That was was I, it In and Out or was it Harold and Bell's or was it or Roscoe's? Which is your best? It had to have been In and Out. Okay, man. If the whole the whole team went crazy. The old line was jumping up and down. <laughs> if there's a double double eating competition, I'm taking Marcus Martin. That sound about right. Yeah, it's, got, it's got me. I don't know. He would hate me saying this, but I think it has to be Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got another burger to sell you here. Don't forget to stop by your local Carl's Jr. to taste the new Buffalo Blue Cheese Burger topped with blue cheese crumbles and Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Game on. Carl's Jr. Eat like you mean. I bet Marcus Martin would take down a couple of those, too. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to have a former USC running back. Chauncey Washington is in the house. Uh, he had a big game at Cal way back in the day. Well, not too far back. We'll talk to him about it coming up on Trojans Live. Trojan fans, each season the schedule is filled with pesky opponents looking to bring you down. 
But when that yellow truck and the little man with the hammer pulls up to your home or place of business to battle your bug opponent, insects and pests have no chance. For over 90 years, Western Exterminator has been in the trenches, dominating every matchup and every battle of the bug, which is why true Trojan fans know that Western Exterminator is the final word in pest control. <coughs> Sounds like that's getting worse. From mild ailments to something more serious, HealthNet is here for you. We provide affordable health coverage that you and your family deserve. With plan benefits that include doctor visits, prescriptions, immunizations, and even free physical exams, HealthNet gives you peace of mind. Look to HealthNet for affordable health coverage for you and your family. We are your HealthNet. HealthNet of California, Inc. and HealthNet Life Insurance Company are subsidiaries of HealthNet, Inc. Get big savings on a big dinner. Stop by a Subway restaurant and get any three regular footlong subs for just $14. Any day after 4 p.m. and all day Sunday. That's less than $5 for each footlong sub. However you mix it up, any three regular footlong subs are just $14 any day after 4 p.m. and all day Sunday. Subway, eat fresh. Limited time only. Add $1 for each premium or supreme sub. Additional charge for extras. Prices and participation may vary. Plus tax were applicable. May not be combined with other offers, coupons, or discount cards. The Happier New Year event is the one time of year you can receive up to $2,000 on a new BMW, like the X3. But we know what you're thinking. There must be a catch. So let's go through our disclaimers. Event may cause excitability and instant carification. Disbelief has been known to occur. Offer available for limited time only. So hurry in and receive up to $2,000 on the BMW you've always wanted. We only make one thing, the ultimate driving machine. Credit is applied against MSRP of final purchase, not title, tax, or destination. Credit allowance varies by model through January 2nd, 2014. For all offer details, visit BMWUSA.com slash offers. Mayhem is everywhere. I'm an over-enthusiastic football fan. We just beat one of the worst teams, but I'm walking out of the stadium celebrating like we just wrapped up a perfect season. <laughs> I'm so blind with excitement. I don't notice when I step into traffic and you have to swerve to miss me. So get all state, where agents help keep you protected from mayhem, like me. In Orange, call Allstate agent Ross Gilo today. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Are you in good hands? Now, back to Trojans Live from the lab. Back on Trojans Live. Don't forget you can get any three regular footlong subs for just $14 after 4 p.m. and all day Sunday. Subway, eat fresh, limited time only. Happy to welcome in Chauncey Washington, the uh, who was the USC leading rusher in 2006, 2007. And Chauncey uh, back here at USC, so some fun things to talk about. But we wanted to get you on this week, Chauncey, because uh, this really was probably your best game as a Trojan. Maybe you could take us back down memory lane, but uh, you ran for 220 yards at Cal in the pouring rain. You remember that game? Oh, yeah, I, I remember <laughs> very well, um, especially because uh, that morning my uh, my father – called me very early you know we played you know back then we were playing you know late games in the evening so he called me in the morning and uh it's before breakfast he wakes me up and uh he was like you up yet i'm like no i'm not up yet i'm like seven o'clock in the morning (laughs) he was like you know what today is i'm like he was like nah he was like uh go to your window and 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 open it up and and see what you see so i opened up it's raining so I'm saying, uh, yeah, it's raining. He was like, uh, you don't, you don't remember, you know, since Pop Warner, these are your best games. You always played your best games in the rain, and not only in the rain, but you're under the lights, you know. And that's a, you know, a dream come true, as a running back, because you know you're not going to pass that much that day, so you're going to get, you know, bulk of the carries, and you're not playing at one or twelve o'clock where the sun's out, so you have all your energy. He was like. I guarantee it's going to be your best game that you have at, at USC. So, you know, that's sure enough it was. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> you, you're a mutter. That's what they would say in the horse racing game, right? You like to, you like to run in the rain. Oh, yeah, I love it. And, and under the lights, you know, it's, it's the best thing. It's the best feeling coming out. You know, it's, I mean, you get that, you know, high school feeling all over again. You know, Chauncey, I was at the game. I remember the game not because of what you did, but because it was pouring down rain, and I was on the sideline drenched. Just couldn't wait to get the game over with. I was actually glad you ran well so the clock would keep running. But 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 then when you go back to that game and you sort of look back, you had that feeling in that game or you gave me the impression you put the team on your back. Is that sort of what you felt? Yeah, I felt like I put the team on my back. Um, I mean, we're doing pregame warm-up, you know, Coach Carroll. You know, I always talk to me for for games, but uh, 
you know, he, he told me today, he was like, uh, you're going to be the sea biscuit. <laughs> you know, he was like, you're going to be our horse today. And he was like, are you up for the task? I said, you know, I'm always ready, Coach Carroll. You know, I stay ready. So he was like, okay, we're going to see we're gonna see how it goes. And, you know, sure enough. That's how it went. That's how it went. <laughs> well, you mentioned your dad, and you had an interesting uh, career at USC. I mean, you, I don't know I don't know how many people know you came in as the, as the third guy in the Reggie Bush, Lendell White running back class. I can't imagine uh, many running back recruiting classes were ever better than that one. But you sort of struggled along the way within class, and then the story as it goes, and I can have you tell it, is that he pushed you, and you've come back and really come through out the other end. Um, you know, maybe you could tell that story. Um, um, yeah, I, you know, I had a difficult, you know, task um, trying to manage, you know, school and, um, you know, football and, and life at the same time. So, uh, you know, the, the things that I went through, you know, my dad was always there to help me get through that. And uh, it's a blessing, you know, because uh, I, I went through so much and he was there to, to help me out. I actually, you know, most people don't know, I actually lost my scholarship, you know. So he was able to, you know, take on a few jobs just so I could stay here because he was like, I'm not going to let you leave the school. He was like, if you leave the school, you're, you're going to walk away from the game. He was like, you're going to end up in, you know, some little school or some JC and, it's not going to be the same thing, and this is, you know, the best place for you as football. And not only that, you know, academics and the connections that you have, you know, here. And it's all it's all paying off. Exactly what you said. It's, it's you know, it's everything's happening. You know, it's a great story, and it obviously led to you being successful, you know, after that at USC. With, you know, with that being said, though, if there was one bit of advice you'd give some of these young guys, what would it be? Listen, <laughs> what they're telling you, you know, you 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 think, um, you know, you know, back then it was Mike Garrett on your neck, you know, but you know, yeah, you, you know, you have Pat now, and you got you got to listen to Pat and JK, man. They know what's best for you, you know. So you gotta you gotta have that mindset. You gotta get out of thinking bigger. You gotta think of, of the picture, you know, the overall. You know, you gotta see your, you gotta see the end of the tunnel. Basically, what it is. And let people know, too, what you're doing now. And we see you back at the McKay Center all the time. You're actually uh, working out, uh, working with the uh, Pac-12, but, but back to finish your degree. And, and what goes into, into, into that process? Uh, it, it, a lot of guys uh, seem to do it. And uh, I, I've seen you with Stephon Johnson, another guy who's back. And a lot of these guys, uh, you know, come back. Um, what I'm doing, um, I'm actually enjoying it. You know, I, I didn't know that um, I was going to enjoy, you know, TV and, and film as much as I do now. And um, I've been assisting, directing, and producing um, all the home games for the USC, USC games for all sports, and, and I'm loving it. I'm working with a great group of people, you know, um, you know, JK, Pat Hayden, you know, um, they help me out a lot, you know, to get to what, what I'm doing now, and, and I, I love it, you know, and uh, I'm enjoying it, it's, you know, working with my schedule. It's uh, it's not, you know, pressure, and it's, it's just learning something new, and that's what, you know, I always wanted to do after uh after being on the hard knocks yeah i wanted to get one more in uh before we go to break i want to get one more in on you i saw you i remember seeing you on hard knocks and i feel like that's the other important lesson to tell you know there are these guys and you were one of them you were just grinding year after year just trying to get that roster spot trying to get practice squad i mean was that sort of the real were we seeing the real nfl there you know the the hard knock life just just trying to just trying to make the team oh yeah i mean everything there you know was absolutely what you saw you know there's nothing you know sugar coating on it and you know i did everything i could do you know rex ryan was a great guy and um you know it just it just didn't work out that way you know as you even blocked the punt nets in that preseason didn't you? i mean yeah i mean i i played my butt off it was my my best off season off season training and at the end of the day, it, it, it's it's a business, you know. So so it comes down to you know salary of you know who got drafted, you know. So it happened to actually be a guy that you know I taught a lot, <laughs> that actually took my shoes, you know, Joe Knight. You know, he's a young guy, and you know I had love for him, but uh, you know, so they, they they had to keep him. You know, they couldn't get rid of him. You know, because it, you know it's all about you know it's a business. Well, it's awesome having you back. It's awesome having you at the McKay Center. And uh, 
We look forward to uh, talking to you soon in the future, and I guess he's going to take he's going to take your job, JJ. You no, that? he's not. I'm going to uh, kick uh, him in the leg on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know, you know, children like to compete. So you better stay on your toes. <laughs> well, we got to get Chauncey out. He's got dinner with his mother-in-law. I promised you you'd make it in time, Chauncey. You're going to make it. You know, we don't want to get you in trouble with your mother-in-law. Oh yeah, you can't do that. You can't <laughs> do that. I, I got to hear hear that for for a very long time. So you know, I want to give a shout out to my, my family, my wife my kids uh and my mother-in-law happy birthday caroline oh, very nice very thank nice. you very much thank you chauncey and then we'll be back with jj's taking the cow game next up on kfwb news talk 980 so you need hot dogs for the tailgate salads for game day and thirst quenchers for the cheering squad on the couch good thing smart and final has everything to make your team happy and score big savings Smart and Final has low prices like Walmart, big sizes like Costco with no membership fees, plus the freshness of a supermarket in one place. Smart and Final, warehouse prices, big and small sizes. Now through November 5th, 12 bottle packs of Heineken or Heineken light beer are just $11.99 plus CRV. Smart and Final reminds you to drink responsibly. Become a KFWB VIP to receive special offers, VIP experiences, and more. Visit KFWB.com now for your chance to win a Seinfeld prize pack. That includes Season 5 and 6, among other collectibles. Own the complete series of Seinfeld on 33 DVDs, featuring all episodes of the iconic comedy and more than 104 hours of amazing extras. Seinfeld, the complete series, now available at Amazon and SeinfeldSeriesStore.com from Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. Want to help Valvoline Instant Oil Change go pink this October? By going pink, you'll be helping to fight breast cancer all month. Change your blades and change a life by purchasing pink or black. Black wiper blades this October and join Valvoline Instant Oil Change as they proudly support the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Stop in today, get your oil change, and ask how you can change a life by going pink this October. To learn more, call 1 800 Fast Change or visit VIOCPink.com. Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Quick, easy, trusted. Tasting notes for the Carl's Jr. Buffalo Blue Cheese Burger. Hey, thank you, Buffalo, New York, for buffalo sauce and blue cheese. Tangy, spicy, vinegary Frank's Red Hot Sauce mixed with creamy, salty, funky blue cheese. Hey, it's tasty enough on a chicken wing, but it's a damn revelation when it's on a burger. The Buffalo Blue Cheese Burger with Frank's Red Hot Sauce and Blue Cheese Crumbles. Only at Carl's Jr. Eat like you mean it. For limited time, participating restaurants. Frank's Red Hot is a registered trademark of Record Bank Israel LLC. You may already know that AT&T is the nation's fastest 4G LTE network. And now independent researchers confirm that AT&T 4G LTE is also the most reliable. Whether you're connecting with family or getting the job done, you want a wireless network you can count on. AT&T, the nation's fastest and now most reliable 4G LTE network. Rethink possible. AT&T reminds you to never text and drive. It can wait. Speed claim based on national carrier's average 4G LTE download speeds. Reliability claim based on data transfer completion rates on nationwide 4G LTE networks. 4G LTE not available everywhere. Now more Trojans Live. Jordan Moore and John Jackson ready to talk about this USC and Cal game. It's coming up at noon on Saturday. It's on Big Fox, too. No complaints about people not being able to watch that one. If you, if you don't have Fox, I, I don't know what I can do for you. But it's a, it should be a noon game. should be a fun one. And, and I didn't want to ask Coach O this because I already knew the answer. There's no way they're looking ahead. But I'll ask you uh, just, just uh, in case. They shouldn't be looking ahead. Obviously, this is not a very good Cal team, and Stanford looms in a week here at the Coliseum, but uh, no time to be looking ahead. No, I, mean, and I don't think that this team will. I think that you know what Coach O has created is an environment where they enjoy playing. And so I can remember even when I was playing, when you enjoy playing, you can't wait to beat up on the next guy. And that's sort of the same thing I think temperament-wise you know, this team would be. Um, you know, This team's goals are right in front of them, and I know he's going to keep it game to game. And I think that, you know, the game planning part of it um, from a player standpoint sort of shows them that they're moving game to game. So Coach Pendergast will probably change things up this week. They obviously have a team that throws the ball a lot and all that kind of stuff, so it'll be exciting. And Cal has a puncher's chance to stay in this and, and possibly come out with a victory. They're not very good on defense, but um, they do have a puncher's chance to win this. Yeah, and their puncher really is this young quarterback, Jared Goff. Uh, he's They move the ball a lot. He tends to throw uh, some interceptions, so I imagine you see some opportunities there. But their future is pretty bright with this kid. He's got a nice, strong arm. You know, with Cal, there's a lot of young guys, and that's the problem. That's why and, – and, and surprisingly, they're putting up this many yards. I'm surprised they put up over, you know, three, four, five hundred 500 yards of offense. They're very good offensively. 
But with that being said, they're, because they're so young and youthful, they're going to make mistakes. So I would expect the Trojans and Coach Pendergast to put in some different twists and blitzes and things like that. It'll force the running backs to have to block in protection, things of that nature, to try to confuse them a little bit because they are young. Coach Pendergast is going to put together a, a great game plan. You know, he's going back to, you know, his home where he's from and stuff like that. So he's going to want to put together an impressive game plan. So I expect the Trojans to be a little bit tricky, actually, on Saturday. That'd be a big story if Jeff Tedford were still the head coach, that Pendergast was going back to face, you know, his his team. Sonny Dykes is the head coach, and now it's a totally different off, offense. So, you know, Clancy only knows so much. But where, where does he help then maybe in personnel, knowing exactly uh, who he's facing this weekend? Yeah, the advantages for the Trojans because, like you said, he knows their players that they currently have and how good they are, the weaknesses and the strengths, those types of things he'll try to obviously exploit. Um, Cal's obviously a disadvantage because when you when you, when a coach changes teams, it, it, it's, you, you know, they know each other's scheme. That's not the problem. It's really the mentality. And the timing of when he's going to blitz and when he's not going to blitz and those types of things, that they would have an advantage. Since, they're, like you said, there's no returning. There's, you know, the coaches aren't there anymore. Coach Tedford's not there. So they're a little bit without that kind of inside knowledge. Um, you know, but it, it, it still is Coach Tedford wanting to be impressive going back to Cal. Poor Jeff Tedford. He spent all those years trying to get them to renovate Memorial Stadium. They, <laughs> fin- they finally did. The year it opens, uh, he's no longer there. Uh, any any memories of uh, that stadium? Obviously, it's it's still there. I mean, it's such a funny sort of old timey place. I always felt like if somebody dropped a match, the whole thing could go up in a minute. But now I, I suppose it's going to be really nice on Saturday. But you have any uh, any great memories at Cal? Uh, you know, when I was at, when, when when I was playing, Cal was you know irrelevant at the time, and so there weren't any you know Smash Mouth games or those types of things. But we did clinch the Pac-12 championship at Cal. And just to show you the intensity that always follows, I mean, we beat them by two touchdowns, maybe three touchdowns. And the funny thing that I remember is there was a fight on the sideline. Our, co- our, our offensive coach our offensive coach, and our weight coach actually got in a fight on the sidelines. It was something that, you know, I mean, it was incredible. But it just shows you the intensity that goes along with playing the USC. You know, we talk about uh, Sonny Dykes, and this is, you know, we talked about Rich Rodriguez a couple weeks ago and Mike Leach earlier this season. Where, are you, where do you stand on the evolution of offense in college football? Obviously, the USC's stuck or, or standing right now with this pro style, and it certainly works for Alabama. But do, do you see – USC needing to evolve to something else, or are, are you, you you think you could still win national championships playing the way they are? Yeah, I think that they still can. I think that what's going to happen is, you know, all these high-profile offenses, the good thing with all these low-profile offenses, they throw up a lot of yards, a lot of points. But what's going to happen is the defenses start to make adjustments, whether it be with personnel, those types of things. So I think it is a definitely a strong trend. It's going to be a trend that keeps on going. But as teams start to make adjustments, which is, you know, rotate more guys defensively, it'll be another thing that just sort of folds back into the, you know, the same thing we see in football all the time. It's evolution. Things change all the time. I think the Trojans should stay with what they're doing because they're, they're going to get NFL players or, you know, future NFL players that want to come here to play an NFL-style offense because that's going to help transcend them to the next level. Game on. Make your move today to the Lorenzo, the most talked about apartment community at the University of Southern California. Brand new upscale student living is waiting for you. Hurry. Spaces are going fast. Don't miss out. Immediate occupancy. Visit the Lorenzo.com or call 213-863-4307. We'll come back with one more segment trying to get Andy Enfield on the phone here. Hopefully we can get uh, a quick chat with the men's basketball coach coming up on Trojans Live. The thing that I really enjoy about the Ford C-Max is that it is a hybrid, and I feel very new and relevant. For Kate Oxman, her Ford C-Max is more than just a car. I love the technology that comes with the Ford C-Max. It's fun. It's fun to show off that, oh, look, my car, I wave my foot magically underneath the lift gate, and it opens up. My perception of Ford has definitely changed buying the Ford C-Max. I really i have always liked Ford. I like that it has a very family feel to it. But now Ford is sexy, and it's got these fun bells and whistles. The Ford C-Max has an EPA-estimated rating of 45 city, 40 highway, and 43 combined MPG. 
Actual mileage will vary. It's saving me a huge amount of money, and I just like using less of what I call the Earth's blood. Win a VIP experience for the big game on November 30th. It's the Ford Friday sweepstakes. Just go to usctrojans.com for official rules and enter to win two tickets and an on-field experience. No purchase necessary. Continental Tire is driving performance for you. Whether driving to the game, dropping the kids off at practice, or commuting to work, Continental makes the right tire for your vehicle. Our tires are designed with Eco Plus technology to deliver shorter stopping distances on wet roads and tremendous long wear. Plus, improved fuel efficiency, they can actually save you money over the life of the tire. Visit ContinentalTire.com to find out how much money you can save or to find a retailer near you. Continental Tire, exclusive tire of the Trojans. Trojan fans, each season the schedule is filled with pesky opponents looking to bring you down. But when that yellow truck and the little man with the hammer pulls up to your home or place of business to battle your bug opponent, insects and pests have no chance. For over 90 years, Western Exterminator has been in the trenches, dominating every matchup and every battle of the bug, which is why true Trojan fans know that Western Exterminator is the final word in pest control. Back to Trojans Live. Jordan Moore and John Jackson live at the lab. We're waiting on Coach in field. See if we can get him in here for a couple minutes. They do have their game uh, Friday night, he's hitting the recruiting trail tonight, so it was uh, hit and miss if we could get him, but uh, he's always uh, building the future of this program. Their, their season starts Friday night at Utah State. It's actually a brutal opener, J.J. Utah State is 31-1 and in their last 32 <laughs> home openers, so uh, they, the scheduling gods did him no favor there. And then the uh, home opener is next Tuesday here at Galen Center, right next to uh, the lab. It's Cal State Northridge. That's an 8 p.m. start uh, and you can get tickets at GetTrojanTix.com. And uh, while we're talking about other sports, I did also want to mention uh, women's golf won their seventh consecutive tournament today. That is a school record. That, that is the top team at USC right now, the number one ranked women's golf team. But we'll, uh, we'll stay on, on football a little bit here, JJ, if, uh, if we don't get Andy. And uh, I hope we get I hope we go, get Coach Enfield, by the way, because I just want to find out what, how – you know, how he constructs and puts together this high-paced offense. I mean, yeah. it's going to be a lot of fun to watch USC basketball this year just for the up-and-down play. Yeah, plus, so, you know, we, we were just did a video today. We were taking a look at their equipment. You like this. Uh, the, the shoe game is going to be pretty good this year, J.J. I mean, the team's choosing between the Cardinal and Gold Kobe's or Durant's. So, oh. I mean, <laughs> okay. there's, there's some pretty good choices. The team's <laughs> going to look good out there, and he really is an interesting guy and has a lot – a lot to talk about in terms of the future of this program. We'll have him on uh, plenty as the season uh, goes on, as this show comes back uh, during basketball season. But the momentum for football, as you look ahead to this month of November, obviously they, they won't look ahead, but but we can. Right. Uh, you know, really, do you see this as a potential uh, November to remember, as they say? You know, I think so. Um, you know, for a couple of reasons. First of all, I think the cow's not very good. They should win this week, you know, without a problem. Uh, you know, next after that is Stanford, and I think that this team is in a great position to play Stanford at this time of year. Stanford's lost some key players. Gardner's out. They've lost a couple of D linemen. You know, and it's not the same Stanford team that we've seen in the past. That you know, Utah beat them. You know, so the Trojans can do some comparisons of who's played against Stanford and realize that they should be in the game. So it's not going to be a Stanford team like some years in the past when Andrew Luck was there. That the Trojan players, I think, would even question if they were going to win. I don't think that's going to be the case this year. By the time that that Stanford game rolls around, these players will be sold that they should win. And then you have a Colorado game at Colorado, which certainly is is winnable. Uh, Colorado's still a, a building program. And then got those Bruins who, who spent a lot of their early <laughs> season chirping across town as they surged up to a top 10 ranking. Then their schedule caught up with them a little bit. And, boy, that could be a fun one to end the season at the Coliseum if, if maybe the Pac-12 South is on the line. Well, you know, UCLA is always, you know, <laughs> I mean, they always jump out and talk a lot of stuff when they're playing all the teams that aren't that good. And so then all of a sudden they run into Oregon and, you know, run into, you know, some tough teams. They lose two games, and now all of a sudden it's quiet. So that's a good thing that we'll see them at the end of the year. I think that UCLA is good, obviously, but I think that in the games that they've played, they've shown that they are very beatable as well. And at some point they're going to need some help from Arizona State because that, that, that tiebreaker looms potentially. They're already a game behind Arizona State, and maybe that starts this week in Arizona State playing at Utah. Well, it, yeah, and, then, and so the Trojans are going to need a major upset to happen. It's going to be Arizona State on the road at Utah, which we talked about. They play much better at home than they do on the road. 
or Arizona is going to have to go to Arizona State, which is not easy, and they're going to have to pull an upset. And, of course, the Bruins, we've got to rely on the Bruins, which is another hard thing to do, but we've got to rely on them <laughs> to beat you know, Arizona State as well. They need to have, you know, the Trojans already have two losses in conference play, so they need Arizona State to have three losses. And so in order to make that happen, they have to, you know, some, some teams are going to have to upset them down the stretch. You know, I look back at this month, and I think back to a month ago when, when Coach O came on here for the, for the first time as the interim head coach, and he said, if, if nothing changes, nothing changes. <laughs> I, thought, I love the expression. And, boy, he changed everything, and it took a month. I mean, it, it's just its amazing how much has changed in the last month. The mentality, the mindset, you know, Coach O said it best, that, 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 that players are buying in, you know, and that's sort of a great thing to see. Um, you know, it's just it, it's amazing. I mean, he's done a, a, a great job. You know, the danger is, is you know, or the, the big question is, how good a job has he done? If he gets these guys around the rest of the way, you know, the, the, the Pat Hayden, J.K. McCain have a t- very tough decision on trying to make a decision on the head coach for the future. Well, the players have certainly uh, put th- some of their votes uh, in the ballot box. I mean, I, I don't know if I've ever seen a coach picked up on his team's shoulders four games into his tenure. I heard they were going to try to carry him off, but they couldn't make it. They couldn't make it because, you know, Coach O is carrying a couple extra pounds. Well, and then he walked <laughs> over and uh, grabbed the sword and led the band. A that great, was awesome. great, great moments on Friday night and uh, hopefully uh, some, some big ones in this final month of the season. And uh, we'll come back to wrap things up on Trojans Live. You're listening to uh, KFWB News Talk 980. We don't know what 2014 will bring, but we do know that right now you can get a credit of up to $2,000 on a new BMW. Then who knows what else could happen? This might be the year you write the next great American novel, paint a masterpiece, or date a supermodel. Anything's possible. The Happier New Year event is going on now. Right now, get a credit of up to $2,000 on a new BMW. Like the BMW X1, we only make one thing, the ultimate driving machine. Credit is applied against MSRP of final purchase, not title, tax, or destination. Credit allowance varies by model from January 2nd, 2014. For all offer details, visit bmwusa.com slash offers. Get big savings on a big for just $14. Any day after 4 p.m. and all day Sunday. That's less than $5 for each footlong sub. However you mix it up, any three regular footlong subs are just $14 any day after 4 p.m. and all day Sunday. Subway, eat fresh. Limited time only. Add $1 for each premium or supreme sub. Additional charge for extras. Prices and participation may vary. Plus tax where applicable. May not be combined with other offers, coupons, or discount cards. Hey, everybody, this is Coach. And I want all you tried and true college football fans to enter the AT&T Be The Fan sweepstakes. Tackle my weekly challenge and you might be the fan who wins a VIP trip to ESPN College Game Day. Find out how you can win at attbethefan.com. AT&T, rethink possible. No purchase necessary. Open to U.S. citizens and resident aliens of the 50 U.S. states or D.C. of the age of majority. Ends 11.59 p.m. Central Time, November 29, 2013. Official rules at attbthefan.com. Void where prohibited. Want to help Valvoline Instant Oil Change go pink this October? By going pink, you'll be helping to fight breast cancer all month. Change your blades and change a life by purchasing pink or black wiper blades this October. And join Valvoline Instant Oil Change as they proudly support the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Stop in today. Get Get your oil change and ask how you can change a life by going pink this October. To learn more, call 1-800-FAST-CHANGE or visit VIOCPink.com. Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Quick, easy, trusted. Now back to Trojans Live from the lab. opener so hoop season is starting obviously uh, it's a good time of year and the, the weekend is always a special tradition at usc having everyone uh, drive up and i've certainly been there at times when it feels like it's a usc home game and, and i think it's going to feel like an sc yeah. home game this week i mean all the momentum is behind you know coach o and the, what this team has done they have great momentum behind them i think this team is really feeling it they're loving it and you know and the other thing i like it doesn't matter the week. You know, he gave him in-out burgers on Cal Week. It wasn't like he just does it on Notre Dame Week or any other big game. So I I love that extra thing. I mean, it's just a great time to be a Trojan right now. 
It is a great time, and hopefully we'll have another win to talk about next week. We, we will be back here at the lab next Thursday, back on our regular a week from Thursday, uh, November 14th, back on our regular scheduled date uh, for the next Trojans Live. Ed Orgeron will be here for a look back at that Cal game. We'll preview USC's next opponent, the Stanford Cardinal, in town for homecoming. We, al- we also anticipate having Marquise Lee and Hayes Pillard on that show as well. So it should be a fun one. Highlights tonight were courtesy of 710 ESPN. Your on-site engineer is Bill Bingham. Studio producer is John Bartels. Director of broadcast operations is Ann Beebe. And the executive producers of Trojans Live are Dan Shell and Tom Pure. For John Jackson, I am Jordan Morris, and we'll see you all up in the Bay Area. Looking forward to a fun weekend trip. Fight on. Smart and Final, a proud supporter of Trojan Athletics. You've been listening to Trojans Live, brought to you by BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Visit SoCalBMW.com today to find a BMW center near you. Buy Valvoline. Charge on. But visit Valvoline Instant Oil Change first, home of the drive through only change, and proud sponsor of USC football. Visit SoCalOilChange.com for special discounts and offers. By Allstate Insurance. Mayhem is everywhere. Start protecting yourself from mayhem with Allstate Insurance. By Western Exterminator, providing all-star termite and pest control you can trust for over 90 years. Western Exterminator, the final word in pest control. Trojans Live is an exclusive presentation of Fox Sports West and USC Sports Properties on KFWB News Talk 980.